Hey everyone, JavaScript in JSX with curly braces. Let's take a look. Again, we're using the new React docs, so beta.reactjs.org. You can follow along here under the learn section under describing the UI, JavaScript in JSX with curly braces. Okay, so uh, let's take a look what we're doing. We're passing strings with quotes. So you probably already know this. We're putting in a class name, avatar, a source, string, and you put in the URL, the alt, etc. So that's that's pretty simple. That makes sense. Okay, cool. Now, what happens when we want to put dynamic stuff in there? So we want dynamic stuff. We can put like here a const of avatar, and then we can say that this is equal to this string. And then here we open our curly braces, and it's like I'm going into JavaScript land now. So no strings, JavaScript land and avatar. That means it will not print the word avatar. It will look for some sort of JavaScript that is called avatar, and then it will replace the avatar with this string. So that's pretty simple, right? Curly braces means I'm going into JavaScript land. Okay, cool. So uh, that's the difference between the string and the curly braces. And it means like, you know, you have your const name here. Let's just change that. You can change that. That can be dynamic. And then it's like Debbie's to-do list. Yay. <laughs> um, okay, so that's pretty simple. Let's have a look. You can also put functions in there. So we've got a, a function of format date. And then we can literally put that in here. We're entering JavaScript land. And here we've got our function format date. And we get the date of today. And we can change this to, I don't know, short, for example. And there we go. OK, so that works as well. So where to use curly braces? Well, anywhere you want inside your JSX tag, as attributes immediately following the equal sign, source equals avatar, um, and double curlies. Now, this is where it gets complicated. Double curlies, CSS, and other objects in JSX. Let's have a look. This always gets me. So here we have, um, we're just using a style, right? And this is like a double one. Why is it a double? Well, the first one is. JavaScript land, and then the second one is, you're just an object, right? Now it looks confusing, but if we were like to just scroll down, you'll see it, look, now you look at it like this and you go, yeah, that makes sense, I get it now, right? That's basically all it is, we're just putting the braces on the same line. Okay, so the next time you see double curly braces in JSX, it's nothing more than an object inside the JSX curlies. Cool. Um, so remember, inline style properties are written in camel case. For example, style equals background color like this um, would be written as background color with a capital C. So just be aware of that. Uh, more fun. I like fun. More fun with JavaScript objects and curly braces. You can have several expressions into one object and reference them. So here I've got a person in an object. And then like I've got inside that another one, another object, the theme. And then I can refer the, to it as person.theme or the person.name. OK, so that's pretty cool. The person JavaScript object contains a name and a theme. OK, excellent recap. Challenges, yay, I love a challenge. Are you ready for the challenge? OK, let's see, fix the mistake. This code crashes with an error saying objects are not valid as a React child. OK, let's have a look at what's going on. We have an object here of a person, and inside that we have a name, and then we have a theme, which is an object which has the background color and the color. And then we say div style equals person dot theme, person theme, that looks okay. Um, and then we've got person dot, no, we have no person dot, right? So here we got person and referring to, so we can say person dot name. And then we've got our name. And ta da! Okay. And then obviously, like, you know, the style could be a background color person dot theme dot background color, et cetera. So that's looking good. Let's have a look at the next challenge. OK, our next challenge is da -da -da -da. extract the image URL into the person object. OK, so we've got a name, we've got a theme, and then we could have uh, an image. Well, let's just put a, a comma there, otherwise it will crash. Image, and we can create this as an actual object as well. Let's do that. And we can put the URL. Now the URL is going to be a string, so let's put in our string, and then we'll copy our source here. Well, we'll just take it out, right? Put it there. Now we've got the URL in there. So now, string, we don't want a string, we want JavaScript land. And then we can put in uh, person.image.url, and that should give me 
my image excellent and we can easily do the same with the alt so if we wanted to we could put the alt in here uh, we can copy the alt which is this put it in here i know this is kind of duplicating because the name is the same so we could just put the name but doesn't matter just for the purpose of this exercise and then curly braces and we would do person dot name no dot name not dot image that would also work uh dot alt okay and there we've got our alt oh i spelled that wrong didn't i oh my god a l t is alt okay and that's gonna work there as well okay so that's cool okay um let's go to the next challenge okay so in the object below the full image url is split into four parts an image id an image size and a file extension and we want the image url to combine these together um but something is wrong so let's have a look our image is wrong we can't see an image so let's fix it we've got an object here we've got a base url we've got an image image id size okay so looking good um person names looking good so we've got our image so what's going on here well the first thing we look at is source equals string so this is actually just going to print out basically what we we've done there right it's not going to go to javascript because you haven't told it to go to javascript land we've said go to string land and you can see that like if we actually inspect this uh you'll see that this is like look at it yeah i know that's pretty small there but you can say base url that's not what we want let's just close that it's like whoa too much whiteness in my face um so what we need to do is we need to go to javascript land right so let's do that so we're now in javascript land we're like oh it's still not working why okay let's take a look let's slow down see what we're doing here so we're in javascript land and base url is javascript so i can just remove that and then the next thing i want to do is oh, more javascript so you know i want you as well you're more javascript and i'm still in javascript land so i'm going to add you uh let's remove you because i'm in javascript land and now i'm in oh i want this this one to be a string because this is like dot jpeg oh, not you you and let me bring you into the string and there we go there's our image so what we did there was basically we kind of changed it from string land to javascript land we added our pieces of javascript together and then we added on the end a string and happy days we've got our image and oh my god we've completed all the challenges we rock yes next is passing props to a component see you in the next lesson have fun